Hello guys, did you hear about the one dose COVID-19 vaccine? I am sure that you already know this. Are you as intrigued as I am about how it works? We all heard that its mechanism of action is different. Is it though? But what is a vector? What is an adenovirus? At first, it all seems complicated. But let's dive in and see what's all the fuss about. Are you ready? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrea from Flagship Medicine and I'm a physician with a persistent dream to bring new and deep insights into various medical topics going beyond the obvious. If you want to be updated with highly researched medical topics, click the subscribe and bell icon to be notified immediately when I post a new video. As I mentioned before, we will dive deeply into the mechanism behind the new SARS-CoV-2 vaccine. And maybe the question on everyone's mind is, if the mRNA vaccines were so efficient, why the need for another vaccine based on another technique? Stay with me till the end and I will try to shed some light upon this topic also. But what is a vector? A geometric object with magnitude and direction? An agent that transmits an infectious pathogen? A DNA molecule? Unicorns? Or I don't care? Well, it depends from which perspective you are talking about. For different scientists, a vector means different things because vectors are part of multiple areas of our lives. If we speak from a biological perspective, we are talking about the epidemiological vector, which is an organism that spreads the disease but it is not infected. For example, some animals can transmit diseases to humans, but the animals don't have signs or symptoms of the disease. For molecular biologists, on the other hand, a vector is a DNA molecule used as a vehicle to artificially carry foreign genetic material into another cell. We established that a vector is a DNA molecule, but let's meet the vector in his home. How should they call his home? Hmm, adenovirus seems like a good name. It's a medium-sized, 90 to 100 nanometers, non-enveloped virus with a non-segmented double-stranded DNA inside an icosahedral capsid. It's a common virus that in humans causes the common cold, pink eye, or gastroenteritis. His name came from adenoids, which is the medical term for tonsils, where the virus was first isolated. Just for the purpose of this video, I replaced the vector with, hmm, let's call him Victor. Victor contains 30 to 40 genes that code for different proteins, early genes named E1 to E4 and late genes L1 to L5. Their arrangement is much more complicated in reality. For this vaccine, the scientists had to stop the adenovirus to replicate and delete the gene that is responsible for this, the E1 gene. Thus, the virus became replication incompetent. This is a key point for the vaccine. The second step was to delete a part of the E3 gene region. This is necessary to create more space for insertion of viral antigens that I will talk about later. We like to change things, so let's change more. E4 is exchanged with the AD5 homologue to improve the vaccine's results. But the life isn't fun with empty places in our core, and so is Victor. The scientists took some parts of him, now they should start add others. But what should they add? Another gene that encodes the antigen? DNA molecules, unicorns, or leave me alone, I don't care. The right answer was A. In the former place of E1 gene, now is a transgene that encodes a modified full-length SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. Okay, that's enough with the genetics for today. But how does the vaccine work? Well, Victor meets Princess Angie that is the antigen-presenting cell of the human body. But instead of giving her flowers, he gives her a box that she cannot open. She wasn't expecting that, so she goes to her dad, the king, 
aka the nucleus, to tell him what happened. Her dad goes to the secret lab in the basement to see what's in the box. He internalizes the box to analyze it better through his DNA. Then, through a process of transcription, his DNA transforms into mRNA. And with the last power to open this box, the mRNA is translated into the spike protein. The box had the gene that encoded for this antigen. Victor was malicious. Let's expose the spike protein on the surface so that every soldier of our army fights with it, aka the cells of the immune system, said Dad. The chief of the army is there, the lymph node, and presents the antigen to T helper cells. They release enzymes that activate cytotoxic T cells for the cell mediated immunity that eventually induce apoptosis or cell death. T helper cells also activate B cells that produce antibodies for the humoral mediated immunity. Now the princess is saved. The body will recognize easily the spike protein if it dares to approach the princess again. To summarize, J&J vaccine induces a strong adaptive humoral and cellular immune reaction, which are translated into an immunological memory to the vaccine antigen. As I mentioned in the first part of the video, I will respond to an obvious question. Why do we need viral vector vaccines if part of the mechanism is the same as with the mRNA vaccines? With Victor, things seem more complicated than with the mRNA vaccine. There are two main advantages. First, the viral vector technology has been used in the lab for decades, so scientists are already familiar with it and what could go wrong. For some labs, the process of inserting genes into adenovirus vectors is routine. So far, the viral vector vaccines are approved for veterinary use. I will put a link in the description box below for more information. The second most important advantage is that this vaccine is very stable at higher temperatures, unlike the mRNA vaccines that have to be stored at really low temperatures. And for this vaccine in particular, there are other advantages that I will talk about in the next video. If you are already vaccinated with a viral vector vaccine, AstraZeneca or Johnson & Johnson, please let me know in the comments below how that worked for you. I hope I brought you useful information about the Janssen vaccine, and if you want to see more of my COVID-19 videos, click on the playlist on the screen. Thank you very much for watching. You are loved and appreciated. See you soon!